I use Ag in the Classroom as much as possible. I get on the Ag in the Classroom website at least every week, go through there and try to find lessons that tie into whatever standards that we're using. The lessons are always tied to our Oklahoma standards. I can easily go through and look and make sure that things are there for the grade level I need. I can always adapt it a little bit. They give wonderful suggestions on which books to use for our lessons. I'm always able to go through there and find more books to add to my collection or to enhance any lesson that I'm doing. The lesson I did for today on teaching corn was the basic introduction of what corn is. They went through, did all hands-on activities of what corn looks like, the parts of corn, and reviewed all of that. Then we were able to go through on the Ag in the Classroom website and use all the facts about corn, things that they may have not already known about. All right, it is two syllables. Ben, what have you discovered about corn? Ben, can you tell me why you would compare this to a banana? What characteristics are you seeing? What describing words that would make it to where he would compare this to a banana? So I was able to pull up all the facts I needed about corn and was able to supplement with that. We went through, we looked at the husk, we looked at the kernels, we looked at the silk and talked about all those parts. I assume most of my students had not been exposed to actually touching corn in that way. They see it on their plate, but not for sure how it actually got there. Like your corn on the cob, the cob is what's in the middle. That's where your corn is attached to it. So let's take a look. We said each one of these is called a what? Kernel. Kernel. But each one is actually an individual seed. seed. On your Indian corn, each one of you has an ear of corn that's in water. And we're looking to see if it's going to sprout. We're looking to see if it germinates. would dry the husk and they would make what with it? Dolls. Thank you, the lesson I'm doing, I'm looking to see how I can tie it into agriculture. The kids love it, it's all hands on. Every bit of that that I pull for Ag in the Classroom is letting the kids explore different activities, getting to explore the different things from Oklahoma, and giving them a little bit better insight as to what Oklahoma has to offer. Ag in the Classroom has helped me become the teacher I am today, and I cannot thank it enough.